Kevin Hunter Jr. claims he used Wendy Williams' Amex card to pay for her treatment and denies stealing $100,000. I never used it to my advantage. Wendy Williams has been taken advantage of, but her son Kevin Hunter Jr. claims that he isn't the perpetrator. The former TV personality's son provided the U.S. son with another exclusive interview in which he dispelled allegations made against him over a $100,000 transaction to his mother's American Express credit card. His mother's credit card was reportedly used at the end of 2021 without her knowledge, which led to the freezing of her Wells Fargo account in January 2022 as a result of alarming allegations that she was purportedly of unsound mind. Defending himself against claims that he stole from her, the 22-year-old passionately denies being the cause of that. In the exclusive, Hunter Jr. said that he did use the celebrity host's credit card, but only to pay for her personal expenses like trips on private jets to and from Florida and New York and visits to the doctor. I had to find a method to get her there. We would need to schedule a private plane if we were to travel to an appointment up there, he said. We had to schedule an appointment on the Amex if we had to make one down here. The college student claims that after Wells Fargo filed a petition to assume control of the media mogul's affairs, the use of Wendy's Amex card was first raised as a concern in guardianship court. They discussed the American Express situation in court. They significantly exacerbated this, he noted. The Amex card was our only means of making purchases while she was here. Hunter Jr. asserted that his mother was aware of the quantity and frequency of her Amex usage. And at the end of each month, she would read her credit card statement, which I never took advantage of, he said. From late 2021 through the spring of 2022, the TV star was in Florida under her son's supervision. He stated that despite her health issues, Williams' old manager Bernie Young and her Wells Fargo financial advisor Sabrina Morrissey encouraged her to get back to New York as soon as possible for work. He stated of the former manager and financial advisor, they understood that having her here, they were losing a lot of their earnings. They were more irritated by the fact that they didn't have the power they had over her for all these years than by the fact that she was here in a place where the top priority wasn't being at the Wendy Williams show, or to be at specific appointments, or anything. Because it's much simpler to move her around and separate her from the family when she's in New York, he continued, so that she has no other influences to make decisions that are for her health and not for financial profit. Hunter Jr. continued to make accusations, claiming that he was also shut out of his school fund account, making him dependent on the Amex card to pay for his schooling. They also prevented me from accessing my school accounts, which prevented me from paying for anything on my own typically using those accounts. So, in order to pass, we had to utilize the Amex, he explained. Hunter Jr., who the TV actress shares with her ex-husband Kevin Hunter SR, and who grew up in an affluent family, also acknowledged that his usage of the Amex card was never questioned until the guardianship proceedings. I've always used the Amex, he affirmed. She always gave me access to a credit card before anything bad happened, starting in the sixth grade, whether it was for an emergency or because I needed something. According to Hunter, his mom wanted him to enjoy certain access to things as her son. He told the son that he believed that when he expressed grave worries about her health, her employees objected to his involvement. However, once I made it plain that I was quite serious, evidence was provided against me and transactions were brought against me to make it appear as though I was abusing her American Express account, he claimed. William's son added that he didn't care about being flashy and that he was wounded by claims that he was taking advantage of his mother, which, in his opinion, is not true. Something just needs to be made public on what is happening and how much people are taking and following the conclusion of the court proceedings, he continued. People have, however, prioritized other matters over her actual rehabilitation and improvement because, unlike many other alcoholics, she is far more valuable at this time.